Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use Economy Bank. This plugin basically hooks into your Vault Economy plugin and allows you to have a player bank where people can deposit and withdraw money from. It has multiple features such as MySQL support, interests and many more. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section, go over to the spigot tab and search for Economy Bank, like so. Install the version that is compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you can download it from the plugin page and upload it into your plugins folder manually. Of course, make sure that you already have Vault and an Economy plugin installed, which is compatible with Vault. Most of these settings by default are fine, but I'm going to show you the configs later. With this plugin, you can either use commands or set up signs. Some commands include slash bank balance, which shows you the amount of money you have in your bank. If you have the correct permission, you can look at other players' bank balance as well, just by typing slash bank balance and then the username. Of course, all of these commands will need you to set up the permissions correctly, not just that one. To deposit money into your bank, type in slash bank deposit and then the amount you want to deposit. And then to withdraw money from your bank, type in slash bank withdraw and then the amount you want to withdraw. If you're an admin or something, you can actually withdraw and deposit into other people's bank accounts just by putting their name at the end. You can also set a specific amount of money just by typing slash bank set their username and then the amount of money you want to set to. To check the interest rate, type in slash bank interest. However, by default, this feature is disabled. You can of course enable it in the config. Like mentioned previously, you can also set up signs for some of these commands. It's actually quite simple. What you need to do is just follow the specific format on the sign and it will just create it for you. The formatting can be found on the plugin page. Here I have created a few signs, which when you right click on, show you the balance, you can also deposit a set amount of money and then also you can withdraw a set amount of money. And as you can see, once I right click on these signs, they work as intended. Locate the config in the plugins folder and open the config. At the top, you can select how you want the plugin to save the files, such as using a MySQL database. Then under the general settings here, you can change the max amounts per player, time between interactions and interest rates. Of course, by default, the interest rate feature is disabled, but you can enable it here and customize it however you like. Below are the chat and action bar messages, and at the bottom are the sign formatting, which can be changed to your liking. This config is very simple and it's commented very well, but if you're having issues, check the plugin page for more info. Apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful if you have any plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.